In June of 1963, Alabama Governor George Wallace stood in the doorway at the University of Alabama's Foster Auditorium to protest the registration of black students. Eventually, he yielded to the Kennedy administration and Vivian Malone and James Hood enrolled at the university with Malone graduating two years later. In 1973, Governor Wallace was back on campus to crown Alabama's homecoming queen, a black woman from Birmingham. Fifty years later, that queen, Terry Points Bonet, was invited back to campus by the Culver House School of Business. And during her visit last week, I got a moment to talk with her about the impact of her journey, which started by her establishing herself almost immediately as a campus leader. I came down to band practice in August and school started in September. So I guess I got established on campus as a representative of the Alabama in the band. And it went from there. I was president of Fitz Hall and I was president of Totwala Hall. I also was a representative to the Student Government Association for women's dorms. So being elected to something at the university, homecoming queen was not the first thing that I was elected to. But ask Terry Points Bonet about the most important change on campus that allowed her to be elected by her fellow students, and her answer is unequivocal. Well, what allowed me was Vivian Malone graduating from the University of Alabama. That first and foremost was the thing that allowed me that we had someone graduate from here. We also had Diane Curtsy, who was in the homecoming court. Uh, I may think it was the year before, or maybe two years before. After graduating from UA in 73, Points built a career in the business world that included positions in human resources, manufacturing, and sales management, often where she was the first African American and or woman in a given job. She says one word explains how she survived. Perseverance, you know, you get rejected and you keep on going. And understanding it was not whether or not somebody else wanted me to be there. It was whether I wanted to be there. That's one of the messages Points Bonet wanted to share with students last week when UA's Culver House School of Business honored her alongside fellow business school alums Michael Jones, founder of the country's oldest black-owned registered broker and investment banking firm, and PGA executive Ralph Stokes, who was among the first black football players to suit up for the Crimson Tide. What's it like to be on campus in the gatherings that you've been in today? It's great. It's great to see how the student body has changed in terms of diversity. It's great to see the number of women that are in the business, black women, that are in the business school and black men. It's just, it just makes me excited. And while Points Bonet was one of the people who helped integrate the campus, she now wants the campus and society to move toward a new goal. Integration was about being there. And what we're talking about now is different than integration. We're talking about inclusion. What is the difference? The difference is being in an environment, but inclusion is being accepted in that environment, being welcomed in that environment, being asked to participate in that environment. Points Bonet says the night she was elected homecoming queen, she thought her chances of winning were actually so small that she never told her family she was a candidate till after she'd won. So while they weren't on campus that Friday night that she won, her grandfather and sister, her sister still lives here in Birmingham, she says, were on hand to see her crowned at the football game that Saturday.